Welcome to Breakfast with Spaniels with Dr. Judy Morgan. Remember, you can purchase all of Dr. Morgan's products at her website at www.drjudymorgan.com. Now it's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Good morning. So, uh, yeah, I love weekends too, Patty said. <laughs> Patty said, I love weekends. I do too, because I'm not in the office and it's not quite as crazy. Um, don't get me wrong. I don't dislike my job. I love what I do. Um... It's just five 12 hour days a week of a new problem every 15 minutes. Gets to be a little taxing. <laughs> My brain hurts by the end of the week. So, um, yeah, I saw it was cutting in and out a little bit. I don't know why. Um, uh, last night, Hugh and I had date night, which was wonderful. We went to one of our favorite seafood restaurants over in Wilmington. And um, instead of ordering a big meal, we just decided that we would eat like 20 appetizers. <laughs> so we had all kinds of raw seafood, which for us is wonderful. I know a lot of people kind of go, ah, but we love oysters and we love ceviche and we love sashimi. So uh, it was really good. Are those feathers on their ears yes our groomer puts those in um and they're really cute let's see right now we've got some pink some orange some green charles what do you have got a couple of them with green because they had them put in right before saint patrick's day the snow is gone yeah that's the one thing about march spring snows it disappears really quickly so oh oh Lori coger i need to talk to you i want to make a powerpoint for the expo is that okay do you have equipment for that <laughs> send me a message <laughs> um so today i i didn't give Hugh a title but i wanted to call it blind faith um and i want to talk about some um things that we see on the internet on social media on facebook on instagram on twitter whatever different social forums that are absolutely the most ridiculous things and people believe them and then people tell other people those things and then it becomes the truth and so basically it's fake news um our dogs are there's four cavalier king charles spaniels on that table it must be somebody new and an english toy so on the left end we have charlie pookie Shayna, and abby so that's our full house of the colors of cavaliers and then there's georgie on the end who's an english toy spaniel um Anybody else going to Albany? Yeah, let's all meet up in Albany. Hugh's got to still come up with whatever we're doing to identify ourselves. That won't be a huge group there. So, yeah, Hugh's going, oh, yeah, I'll put that on his bucket list for today. We'll just put ID tags on his list. We also have to go pick up hay for the minis today. <clears throat> um, so, hi, Bonnie. Um, so, I, dumb me, you know, I just, I guess I'm a glutton for punishment. So... I have a hard time, hard enough time just managing my own social media and getting on and answering questions and talking about things that are on. Oh, thanks, Lori. <laughs> she got back to me already. Um, I have a hard enough time just answering questions on my own social media pages, so why I go look at other ones is just beyond me. And I've been added as a member on many, many pages because people want me to follow and comment, you know, and answer questions for people I just can't keep up with all of them so unless I see that I'm tagged on something specific I don't generally troll other pages at all 
And um, so yesterday, I had a really busy day at work, but I had about five minutes during while I was eating my lunch. And for some reason, I was thinking of Myra, and I said, oh, I'm just going to go find some cabochon pages. I just want to look at pictures of cabochons. I mean, literally, that's all I wanted to do. I wanted to look at some pictures of cabochons and get some warm fuzzies. And so on one of the forums, I saw, uh, you know, somebody posted a question, can dogs eat eggs? And I was like, well, yeah, of course they can. I feed them every day and they're really healthy for them. And then somebody said, no, dogs cannot eat eggs because they cause bladder stones. My vet told me so. And I said, okay, well, I'm a veterinarian and food therapy is my specialty and our dogs get eggs every single day, and I can assure you that they do not cause bladder stones. Well, this person basically told me that I was an idiot, I didn't know anything, and that their vet was very smart and told them that eggs cause bladder stones, and I didn't know what I was talking about. So then somebody else said, um, no, my vet told me you can't feed eggs because they cause constipation. And so dumb me opened up my mouth again. I'm like, no, eggs don't cause constipation. I don't know why your veterinarian would tell you that. We feed them all the time. Not a problem. And again, I was told that I didn't know anything. <laughs> so I got my feathers a little ruffled and I thought, well, okay, I could, you know, carry on this conversation and, you know, throw my credentials in there and, you know, really like go at it. And then I just thought, why bother? I am Obviously not going to change these people. <laughs> don't you love trolls? Obviously not going to change these people's minds. They don't know who I am. And I'm pretty sure it's a UK group. And I got to tell you, I've had some UK people, like when they when they, when they they get something stuck in their craw, man, they will not let it die and they will attack. <laughs> and I've had Americans do it as well. But let me tell you, I do not need the attacks. So I just said, okay, well, no more looking at cute pictures of cabochons because <laughs> I just... Man, I just don't need the, the aggravation. So I thought that we would talk today about dumb things that your veterinarians have told you and dumb things that you've seen other people say on social media. So if you have any good ones, oh, we're breaking out poop. Um, if you have any good ones, let me know. But So I looked up a few. Um, where's there a good rescue ca cavalier? Oh, we have a whole bunch of cavalier uh, rescues. Send me a message. I'll, I'll give you a whole list. Um, so I, I, I looked up a few and I thought, okay, I'll, I'll give you a couple of these. Um, was told by vet eggs caused my beagle's kidney failure. Uh, yeah, no, exactly. Like, really? Eggs are the perfect food. Like, if you have to pick one food to feed your dogs, pick eggs or goat, raw goat milk. I mean, it's not worth the energy fighting with the trolls, I know. Um, <laughs> my dogs just had a hard-boiled egg as a treat this morning. Well, I just made a half dozen hard-boiled eggs that we're going to enjoy. So, um, so I wanted to give you some other ones. Um, so I wanted to be a vet, but I couldn't kill animals. Really? Yeah, that's not what we do all day. And oh, by the way, we don't enjoy it either, and we don't kill healthy animals. So yeah, if you want to be a vet and you can't kill animals, you can still be a vet. But you know, um, <laughs> South America will still have a closed mind or argue with with a passion. Yeah, I've had some of those. Raw diet causes leaky gut. Yeah, not so sure on that one either. That's ridiculous. Um, eggs with supplements this morning for my 15 year old. Yeah. Um, here's another good one. He's limping, but he's not in pain. I just got to tell you, if they weren't in pain, they wouldn't limp. If he's got a limp, he's got pain. That's just why you limp. You're trying to get the weight off of that leg. Um, sometimes your veterinarian will say dumb things to you like pain is useful. We want him to have pain so that he'll stay quiet and stay down. No, you don't. You want to relieve pain, pain relief. Nobody should suffer with pain, us or them. As a matter of fact, right now I'm suffering with a tweaked back because of lifting everything. Hard-boiled or raw eggs? You can do them however you want to. Um, I feed a raw egg almost every day to my dogs. Yeah, keep doing it. They're good. My dogs always get eggs in one form or another. Um, let's see, your veterinarian will tell you don't believe stuff on the web. Okay, well, don't believe anything I say because obviously I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> Here's, an, here's one. My old vet said dogs do not need to chew on bones. That's us putting our ideals on the dogs. Wait, where'd it go? That in the wild. 
they would everything but the bones because they instinctually know the bones could kill them. What? <laughs> All right. My old vet told me she didn't do a culture on the skin because she didn't feel like it was an infection. Yeah, it was. We proved that. It was a nasty one, too. Um, oh, my God. Oh, Hill's prescription food is a top quality food. Okay, Mrs. X, blow smoke up somewhere else. <laughs> my foster is, uh, let's see. Still can't get on the forum. It's due to Microsoft updates. It might be my son in the backside, but I was just in there answering all kinds of stuff. Shells, yeah, you can do the shells. Um, Mercury being retrograde till April 15th. You're going to hear a lot of stupid stuff. No lifting hay if your back is sore. I know. Oh, God, I do have to lift hay today, too. Um, let's see. I had a client come in and say he can't get heartworms because he doesn't go outside at night. At night, yeah. Well, you know, there's no mosquitoes during the day, apparently, in New Jersey. <laughs> um, here's another good one that one of you was told. I think you're watching. Um, the state slash county slash town requires the rabies vaccine every single year. She's on. Yeah, she's on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my vet said dogs are not carnivores. Hmm. Okay, well, they're not obligate carnivores. They can eat vegetarian diets, but it doesn't mean it's ideal for them. Cats are carnivores. Um a raw egg with a shell three times a week yeah so uh let's see what else have we we got um oh, those are all the way oh here's another good one my vet called me dr google because i gave him researched info <laughs> my vet said raw can cause bacterial infections yep that's another good one uh yeah you're gonna hear a lot oh the we don't do titers because they're too expensive that's going to cost you three hundred dollars yeah no it's not you can send them to Dr. Dodds. You can send them to Dr. Schultz. You can send them to, you can do the in-house titers. You can send them to Kansas State. Uh, how do I get rid of yeasty years? I use ear meds and cleanser from the vet. Don't think it's completely gone. I feed home cooked. Get the starches out of your home cooked. That'll usually help. Uh, my vet sings the praises of Purina. I just nod my head. Wish there were more integrative vets in my area. Well, they're going to sing the praises of the big pet food companies. Um, all the pet food killed off the Skeeters. <laughs> um, well, you want to know something interesting. Um, you can put, oh, I forget if it's all dog food or certain dog foods that have corn in them. You can put them out as ant bait and it'll kill the ants. It's kind of scary. I forget which one it is. Um, so I taught my vet about SM. Yeah, that happens a lot. A lot of veterinarians do not know anything about SM or CM. When I was at my 30-year uh, vet school reunion, I had just written my first book, and somebody um, said, uh, you know, somebody asked me what it was about, and so I was running down some of the chapters, and when I got to, yeah, there's a chapter on SM and CM, I got all these blank stares, and only one person out of everybody there had ever heard of it. I happened to be the guy who was first in our class who was pretty brilliant, but he said he only knew about it because um, he had been to a neurology lecture recently, and they talked about it, which I'm impressed that a neurologist was even talking about it. I, well, that's good. I have no starches in my home cook. That's my dilemma. Hmm. Maybe take out chicken. It's probably one of the proteins then. Um, kin yeah, you could try the kin and kind deer cleaner. Um, I told my vet I wanted to feed raw, and she freaked out. I said, I believe food is medicine. And she said, well, yeah, that's what this Hill Science diet is. She also mentioned something about eye infections being an issue with eating raw. See, there's another good one. Feed raw, they'll get eye infections. What? <laughs> what? Hey, guys, do you all have eye infections? Mm, yeah, no. <laughs> Uh, best food for diabetic dogs. No starches, no starches, no starches. Um, vets don't use CBD oil. Don't know how it will interact with gabapentin and other meds. Yeah, they don't know, but I can tell you we use CBD and gabapentin on all these guys and all their heart meds, and they do really well. Um, uh, Linda Ann, that depends where you live. Uh, no, rawhides are not okay. Uh, do uh, freeze-dried tra dried tracheas. Um, those are really good chews. They never heard of PSOM either or Cavalier platelets. Yeah, that's true. Um, notice which pet food companies back the dog shows. Always the worst ones. I know, and I can tell you that all those winners are probably not eating just that dog food. You don't get that shiny coat. 
Um, always the worst ones. Well, yeah, those are the same companies that uh, have all the signs up at all the veterinary conferences and supply pet food for all the veterinary students. And, you know, that's why your veterinarians support those companies so much. Well, besides the fact that they are a uh, profit center. What, honey? I don't have any more on my list. Okay, my dog has only been fed raw and is in perfect health. Well, you're looking at a bunch of raw-fed dogs. So this morning we were watching Millie, my son's 16-and-a-half-year-old cocker who lives with us. And um, this morning she just flew down our front stairs, raced through the house, ran out the back door and ran around the yard. And um, she's 16 and a half and on her x-rays, she has horrible arthritis in her hips. That dog shouldn't be moving, and she's just racing around like a maniac. So between the, um, the raw food and the supplements that we give, these guys are doing really well. Um, yeeks. All right, so you guys are going to have a million questions on here. Um, best tick and flea repellent. We were using either Vetra Repel or Kin and Kind. They're both in my store. Um, dog, what about a dog with kidney disease? I got all kinds of uh, blogs on that, and I do feed raw to kidney disease dogs with no problem. Good food for liver shunt kitties. We do back off a little bit depending on the shunt as far as uh, how much we feed them as proteins. Alternative to Benadryl, oak pollen, uh, really bad. Yeah, the tree pollens are a little crazy, particularly in the south already. We haven't gotten it yet because... Oh, by the way, it's still snowing here. Um, <laughs> coming soon, we hope. Um, so the best thing for pollens is not sending your dogs out in the height of the pollens, which is the middle of the day. So you want to send them in the morning and the evening outside if you're going for your long walks. Wipe down their feet. Wipe their faces off when they come in. Uh, she says, oh, feed raw. You can't get insurance or the vet says raw food equals salmonella and other nasty infections. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're crazy. Um, Suzanne, that would really depend on the dog. Stage one kidney disease, that wouldn't stop me depend on um, heart function and everything else and how bad the tumor is. My vet says home-cooked raw is too difficult to balance and they can get sick from eating raw. I wish she would read your book. Yeah, they'll give the vets my books. Ticks them off. When do you start heartworm preventative? I know it's a temperature. Yeah, above 57 degrees around the clock for two weeks straight. We haven't started yet. Yes, green lip mussels are phenomenal to add to the diet. Holistic replacement for Proen. We have a million. Uh, you could try the Homeopet Leaks No More. Um, and then if that doesn't work, we have Chinese herbs or acupuncture works. At what age do you give the wellness supplements? Start them young. Um, we're coming out with a senior formula very soon. We're just waiting for the labels. If the titers showed no immunity, should I get just get Distemper and Parvo? Yeah. Um, so if they're low on Distemper, give Distemper. If they're low on Parvo, give Parvo. Give single vaccines one at a time. Uh, you don't need to give everything else. Talk about a goat milk fast. Oh, goat milk fast. Hey, Dave, you're getting two more? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh, CBD without THC. Uh, raw changed. All right, so goat milk fast. Oh, my gosh, there's so much stuff on here. Goat milk fast. Um, a lot of people are talking about fasting your dogs uh, and yourselves at least once a week for a full day. I don't think I could do it. I would starve to death, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, but a lot of people are doing fasts uh, where they don't feed their dogs anything at all for a day um, to improve health, put, make them a little more ketotic, um, going for that whole keto thing. Although for the keto, to really have a ketogenic diet for cancer, you've got to do it long term. It's not just like a one day thing. But some people are just doing one day a week where they only give goat milk. And that's a could have, sort of a semi-fast, but you're still giving them uh, some nutrition. So that might work for our guys. It's going to be a lot of goat milk. Um, but that might work for our guys. I might consider doing something like that. That would be really great on those days when you're in a hurry and you're like, I just don't feel like going through this whole thing. Um, frankly, we would have a hard time fasting our dogs because they get so many medications and supplements in their food that we would still need to give them something to get all of that in. So, okay. Uh, why is my Shih Tzu so hungry and shaking when eating raw? Should I give her vitamins? She gets meats, pumpkin, uh, um, yeah, you may be missing a little, uh, but she's getting pup loaf. Um, she may be missing a few things in there and it may be that she just needs a little more carbs for her. Uh, you might want to have blood tests on and just check her blood sugars. Um, uric acid stones. Oh, geez, that's ridiculous. Those are hard. That's a difficult one. Okay. Um, 
We're gonna get going. We haven't had breakfast. Dogs did. We didn't. I'm gonna go eat some of my eggs. And yes, I can eat eggs every day without getting bladder stones. I have a lot of questions. I'll try to get in there, guys. I got a lot to do today. I have to do my PowerPoint, and I got to study for this class. I got to do my 300 pages of textbook reading. <laughs> Brevecto kills. Do not use Brevecto. That's how I feel about Brevecto. And next card, and Simperica, and anything in the um, Isaxa's Olean class. What? 